All right, so I'm going to show you how to download the NASA MV2 or NASA Lite software to set up a DJI Phantom, Phantom 2, DJI F450, F550, or any custom-built drone using a NASA flight controller. So go ahead and open your internet browser and Google DJI. Here you can see there's a couple options down here. Uh, the most basic way, just go to their main page and go to products and select NASA MV2 if you're using the NASA MV2 or NASA M Lite if you're flying with the NASA M Lite. I'm going to go ahead and select NASA MV2. This is the flight controller for the Phantom, Phantom 2, and uh, Phantom 2 Vision and so on. So here we go. Select that. Once we're here, we have a bunch of information about it. If you want to learn more about it, go through this. It's got a lot of good stuff. Uh, just to get the software, go ahead and go to downloads up here. Now, if you're running Windows, you have to download the NASA MV2 Assistant software, zip or executable here. And you also need to download the driver so that when you plug in your Phantom or flight controller, then your computer will be able to recognize it. If you're using Mac, just go ahead and download this DMG file and you'll be able to run your Assistant setup. So go ahead and click that. It'll download. Now it should show up in your downloads folder here. If not, it'll be somewhere else and go ahead and go find it there. Uh, go ahead and open that DMG file and you'll see NASA M applications. It's a pretty common little procedure here. Just drag it to your applications folder and it'll load there. I already have the application in my folder, so I'm going to go ahead and say stop. Now you can eject the DMG file and you're good to go. If you go check your applications, you'll see the NASA MV2 assistant software is there. If you go ahead and double click that, you can say skip here, and you'll see that your software is here. If you haven't already signed in with your DJI account, go ahead and do that. If you have, you probably see this message, you can say don't show again if you have the current firmware already. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that, and you'll see here's the software. Check out my next video for a description of each tab and how to use all the different tools in the NASA Assistant software. Thanks.